Hello Swing 2 app users! In this video, we will discuss about the bulletin board feature called as the calendar. With this feature, you can register important events, manage multiple schedule, and post important announcements. You can use calendar feature in different scenarios like Use calendar to check events registered by admin. Here only admin can register events and users can only view it. You can use this type of calendar for school apps where students can check their class schedule in the app. Use calendar to register important information. Here users can enter information in calendar and only they can check it. You can use this type of calendar feature in Gym App, where users can write their schedule in the app's calendar. Now let's start with calendar to check events. To create calendar board, on manager page go to the service option then click on the bulletin board option. To create a new board, click on the create bulletin board button. Under basic settings write the name and description of your map board. Under service purpose, the calendar option is available, but if you select this option, you won't be able to modify its UI features and permission settings. So, if you wish to customize all settings of the calendar board, set customize option under service purpose and select calendar option under UI and features. Now go to the permission settings. Here you can set assign permission, board permission and set alert message for unauthorized users. If you want multiple automatically authorized user group to access your calendar board, go with the first option. If you only want a specific user group to access your calendar board, go with the second option. And if you want multiple customized user group to access your calendar board, go with the third option. Under set board permission settings, set write permission as admin and set view text and view list as user. From here, you can also set an alert message for unauthorized users. Once you're satisfied with the settings, click on the Save button. Since we've created the calendar board, now it's time to register information in it. On the calendar board option, click on the Add Schedule button. You'll get redirected to the calendar post page. From here, you can set date, month, and year of your calendar. Click on the Create a Schedule button to register the information. From here, you can set start and end date and time of the visibility of schedule. Here write title for your schedule and the schedule context can be written here. Here you get variety of options to modify your schedule like change font, set font color, set alignment, insert horizontal line, add image, insert table, or you can also use HTML code to make a schedule. The color of the text and background of your schedule can be set here. Click on the Save button once you're satisfied with your schedule. When you'll click on the empty area, a box will appear. Here you can edit or delete your created schedule. And you can also add new schedule. Like this you can add multiple separate schedules per day. Click on the notification form button to create an announcement. Now let's go back to the maker page and link the calendar feature with our menu. On step 3 page, first select a menu by clicking on it. Go to the UI kit option and click on the calendar option. Hover your mouse on the calendar board and click on the apply button and then save button. This is how our calendar feature will appear in our app. Your announcement will be displayed here. Click on the schedule to check its details. Now let's make calendar where users can register their information. Keep all the settings of the calendar board same as set previously. Except in permissions setting, choose user as write permission and view text. Keep view list as admin and click on the save button to save changes. Previously, we used that schedule option to register event in our calendar. This is how the calendar feature will appear in the app. To register event, user should first select a date, then click on the pen icon. Here you need to write title of the event. Click here to set the start date of the event. Click on the all day option to set start time of the event. From here you can set end date of the event. Click here to set end time of the event. Under content area, you can write details of the event. Once satisfied, click on this button to register the event. There will be a dot mark under dates that have some events registered. Click on any date to check its registered event. Then click here to check event details. You can always edit and delete your event. Create your app with Swing2 app now. Thanks for watching.